So let's review where we stand. So we did Taylor and McLaurin polynomials and used them to approximate functions. Then we started looking at power series, which were just another type of function, which would be given by taking polynomials and then just letting the powers of x get larger and larger and larger off to infinity. So the idea is going to be, for our functions that are not polynomials, we're going to no want to know, can we represent those functions as power series? And if so, when we do that representation, what do we get and what do we give up? So we already know what we get. If I could represent something by a power series, then we can use series methods to approximate our function at points. What will we lose? Well, if your function had a great big domain to start with, we may chop that domain down because we have to worry about this business of an interval of convergence. So anyway, what we're going to start off with is just figuring out how do I go from a given function to a power series. So we're going to start off with just the basics. We're going to base everything off of knowing the rule for the geometric power series. So let's recall, I'm going to have from in between minus 1 and 1, we have the rule 1 over 1 minus x equals 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed, and so on. So this is part of our geometric series test. And note, all I'm doing is saying that test with x replacing what we would normally have as r. All right, so when somebody hands you a function, for this first method, what we're going to ask ourselves, all right, is there some way I could write my function is a rational function, or if I differentiate or integrate it, can I get to a rational function? Let's look at the example f of x equal to 1 over 2x plus 6. So the idea here is going to be, I want to get this in the form of 1 over 1 minus box. So to do that note, the x stuff is always going to fall into the box, so I'm going to want to clean up this 6. I want to turn that into a 1. So I'm going to factor a 6 out of everything in the bottom. So that'll leave me with 1 sixth, 1 over 1 plus x over 3. So this almost looks like 1 over 1 minus something in a box. All you got to do is make that plus a minus a minus, and then we note that our r, the thing in the box, is going to be minus x over 3. So what are we going to get? We're going to have our 1 sixth, and it's going to be 1 plus box plus box squared plus box cubed, and so on. And then I just dump my minus x over 3 in the box. And that's going to give us this. And then in closed form, it looks like this, 1 6, and then we're taking whatever's in the box, raising it to the nth power, and goes from 0 to infinity. So that's going to represent this function as a power series. Okay, we won't worry about the interval of convergence, but that's a good exercise for you to go and do on the side. Now let's try the same function, but I'm going to move the center to 1. So what are we trying to aim for here? I'm trying to aim for a power series which has powers of x minus 1 in it. So to do that, we're going to use this trick here. Wherever I see an x, I'm going to put x minus 1 plus 1. So I'm not really doing anything. I'm just making it so that the x minus 1 comes out the way that I want. So let's take a look. Where I see my x, I put an x minus 1 plus 1. So here, when 2 hits it, I'm going to get 2x minus 1 plus 2. So I can combine the 2 and the 6 to get an 8. And then using the trick from above, we know whatever's here is going to get dumped in the box, so i got to clean this up to get a 1. So I factor out an 8. That's going to give me 1 over 1 plus x minus 1 over 4. So this is going to be 1 over 1 minus a minus x minus 1 over 4. So this is going to be what's in the box, minus x minus 1 over 4. Okay, we write out what we're going to get. It's going to be 1 eighth, then 1 plus box plus box squared plus box cubed. And we just stick this into the boxes. So what are we going to get? We're going to have 1 minus x minus 1 to the fourth plus x minus 1 squared over 4 squared, and so on. And then if I put it in closed form, okay, don't forget your minus sign, I'm going to have x minus 1 over minus 4 raised to the nth power. Then a 1 eighth out in front, and then some going from 0 to infinity. So Again, note our power series look nothing alike because the centers are different, but where their intervals of convergence overlap, they're going to be equal as functions.